Hey guys, welcome to yet another Sony Vegas Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you basically how I do my zooming. If any of you follow the vlogs, you, you know that in the vlogs I use cameras with really limited zoom because they're pocket cameras. I've used the Flip uh, Ultra HD and now I'm using the Canon ELPH 300HS. The Flip only had a zoom of two times digital and the Canon has a five times optical zoom but both take a while to zoom in and sometimes you want to get really up close and personal. I'm going to show you how to do that in post-production through Sony Vegas so without further ado let's get this show on the road. Basically what you see in front of you is a clip that I shot from my office window of the street down below. Now I do do a demonstration here of zooming in. We'll go ahead and play this. So that's two times zoom with the Flip Ultra. But let's say we want to get in further. Well, one of the ways to do that, and this is normally what I do, is I'll chop the segment by pressing S on my keyboard, chop out the part where I want to zoom more, find the part where uh, I want to zoom back in. So let's say, ha, ah, we'll grab it right here. Now, on the video clip, you see this little marker here? Event pan and crop? This is what I use to zoom in even more. So you click on that, it brings up this screen right here. This is your zooming. Now let's say we want to zoom in on, uh, let's grab the, whatever's on the roof of this house. Basically as you're shrinking this, here we'll get a better, a better look here. You can see that on the, the preview here, it's actually zooming in, but it's a digital zoom, right? So you do lose definition from a digital zoom because all you're doing is focusing on more pixels. But this is basically how I do it in the vlogs when I want to zoom in on a part or when I'm doing a tech video and I want to show you a, a section. This is what I'm doing is I just zoom in and then you just move this frame to where you want to uh, focus. Now obviously with the screen in the way it makes it really weird looking but and then that's all you do there is zoom in on the part. Now if you want to make it look smooth like the camera's doing it, down here on the timeline, just move the timeline ahead a bit and then zoom in. So we'll zoom in on whatever that is over there. Looks like a, a vehicle of some kind. And then just bring it out over to here to where you uh, to where you want to stop the zooming. And then go to the end of the timeline, right click on the square and hit restore. And what you'll end up with is something like this. So it's not really that smooth of a zoom, but it kind of looks smooth. So it gives you a general idea as to how to basically zoom in post-production with Sony Vegas. And you can do this with other editors as well, such as Magix, and I'm pretty sure Pinnacle Studios, and Adobe Premiere. Keep in mind though, when you're doing a zoom like this, it's called a digital zoom, and you will lose resolution. So now that you know that, go ahead and have fun with your editor. And if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to respond. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.